Hello everyone. Welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. Today I want to share with you one commercial tool I simply cannot live without when doing Xcode development, and that is Reveal. Reveal is a super cool commercial tool that I pay hard cash for to help me build iOS apps, and today I want to show you how it works. Okay, so what I have here is a very simple application. It's just a view controller with a label, an image, some text, a table view. And when I run this, I'm gonna just run this like I would any other application. It looks great and everything seems fine. Here's where Reveal comes in. Reveal is an app I've already installed and is set up to run on my desktop. And what it does is it hooks into your existing simulator and shows you what's going on behind the scenes in your app. So this is Reveal. This is the commercial tool that I'm running right now. And on the left-hand side, I've got all the different elements in my app. And I can click on and view anything to see what's going on. For example, here, I see a little red mark here on my image view. If I click that, it shows me in my view that I've got, in fact, a broken constraint. I can click on this. It can say that, hey, this attribute, this constraint was broken by 45 points. Even though my app looks perfectly fine, it turns out I've got a broken constraint in here. This is something that reveals really good at. It's really good at showing you what's going on behind the scenes, showing you things like broken constraints, so that you can go into the app and fix them. So in this case, I might go back into my app, click on my image and realize that this height width constraint here of 333, that's not quite what I want. What I want is something more like 288, and I might change that to be not equal, but greater than or equal. And if I run the app again, everything will look uh, more or less the same. Things might be a little bit smaller, but if I click on reveal and hit refresh, I can now see that that broken constraint is gone and I've got a better layout. But Reveal is not only great for finding broken constraints, it gives me the ability to change attributes in my simulator and view them in real time. For example, let me bring up the simulator and put it over here. And let's say that I think I'd like to see what this looks like if I'd formatted this label instead of left justified it. With Reveal, I can click on the attribute. It will give me all the details of what's going on with this label in my view its size, its content hugging, anything, and I can change any of these. In this case, I'd like to play with the justification. So I'll come over here, see that my alignment is natural, and I might just try justified. It'll change it in reveal, but it will also change it in real time and update it in my simulator. Really fast feedback, I didn't have to restart the app again, and it gives me a really good example of what it would look like if I changed that attribute from natural to justified. And I can do this with any element, with anything I click on within Reveal. For example, if I wanted to try different font size, by default it comes out as system font 17, but if I wanted to see what it looked like by making it a bit bigger, I can simply click on the label in Reveal and make it bigger like this. If I wanted to change the alpha, I could come down here, find the alpha, and see what it would look like if I didn't make it one, full on black, but dropped it and just maybe tried a lighter shade of gray. If I didn't want the color gray, I could come down and place the alpha and make it 0.5. And if I really want to know what's going on with my app, I can click on anything in here and play with it. Look what happens when I click on the stack view. I can go into the stack view, take a look at the constraints, and it will show me not only the constraints I've added, but everything else the stack view is doing behind the scenes for dealing with layout and alignment. And if there's something there I want to adjust and play with, like maybe I want to try a different padding from the top. I've got 16. I can come in here, I can change it to 32, and it will again update and play with the constraints in Reveal and also adjust them in my app. Reveal is a great name for this thing because what it's really doing is revealing everything that's going on behind the scenes in UIKit. Apple does have a similar tool built into Xcode. To be honest, I haven't played with it. I'm not even sure how it works because I've been using Reveal for years. I'm just really comfortable with this tool. 
I just wanted to show you how it works. I don't get paid anything if you download and use this tool, but I encourage you to check it out. It's a really good tool. I use it all the time in my projects and I think it'll help you as a professional iOS developer. So if you wanna learn more about this tool and check it out, head over to revealapp.com. In there, they give a really nice rundown. You can try it out for free, you can buy it. I think it's totally worth it. And I just wanted to share that with you. That's something I use when I'm building apps on my courses, and now at least I've talked about it so you're aware of what this tool is and how it works. All right, great stuff. Thanks for coming, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.